So today you're gonna find out if heart 40 volt batteries go into a 40 volt Ryobi tool. So today what we are going to do is we are going to unbox the Hart 40 volt trimmer. According to the box, this is like the Ryobi's uh, attachment, tri uh, attachment trimmers to where you could have a till, a, a leaf blower, uh, extended saw, and an edger all in one. Now, all right, so this kit does not include those extra attachments. It just includes the, the string trimmer. 40 volt battery and a charger so we are gonna uh unbox this test this out really quick now i cannot actually use this on the grass because right now my grass is covered in snow due to winter but like the 40 volt line they actually have quite a few tools so far uh they have a chainsaw a hedger they have a lawnmower a leaf blower which the leaf blower actually looks like the ryobi whisperer so let's unbox this and see what comes inside and look at the, the specs. Alrighty, so. Alrighty, so the first thing you'll get is the charger, which is not bad. The size is actually pretty good. Uh, considering the size, I'm assuming this is not a fast charger. Uh, the same thing I got with the uh, Ryobi, about the same size. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Here is the, the main body. Handles adjustable, of course. We're gonna need that piece. All right, so, oh, that's just a, that's a cap. That's just a cap. Very smart to have that in there. This is all metal, by the way. 100% metal that surprises me uh, besides the body the body is plastic with a nice uh, good gripped molding there we go that's actually a very very good size this is really nice this is really nice alrighty so let's get the battery let's see what the battery looks like it's deep in there battery seems pretty pretty big it should be. It's a 40 volt. Anything else in there? That's just. Instructions and warranty is with the battery. Oh, and with uh, the head of the trimmer. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Look at that, that is nice. That is nice. Nice 40 volt battery is dead of course. Four amp hour battery. All right, so what we are gonna do is we are gonna actually let this charge for a little bit and we're gonna turn this on, see what it sounds like and look at the features. Alrighty, so the battery's all charged up and on the heart of, uh, and on the heart 40 volt batteries, they do have a fuel gauge and how full your, char uh, your charge is. First, first, I think we should investigate how this is. Because it doesn't come, Because the string comes like this. 
Of course, it comes with instructions and warranty. Charger. Yep. All right. There's the shield. All right, so that gets attached to that. But there's got to be an easy way to take that out. Let's see. There we go. All right, so that's a spring inside. We just have tape on there to prevent that from... Alrighty, so that's how you load it. You just spool that around that, then you put it at the opposite ends, then you're good to go. Alright, that's one. Okay, got it. Alright, so then you just re-spool that, and then put this back on, then you're done. Major spring, majorly spring-loaded, which is good. Alrighty, so... I'm taking a guess here, and I am right. All right, that nut is three eighths. So let's put that on really quick. That is a long one. So, how this goes on, put the, there's a slot right there, you put that in that, then that wraps around that. All you have to do is do this once, but this is what you do when you do get it. Then you put the nut done. Very good. Like I said, I'll let the battery charge. Let's put the battery in and see what this actually sounds like and how fast it goes. It slides right in. So let's see how this is. Seems to be wrapping. I think you need to put the arrows corresponding with each other. Because there's an arrow here and, and an arrow there going straight across. So I think that's what you do to lock it in place. Then you push it, uh, you tap it on the ground to do that again. So let's try that again. That's better. That's better. That, then you tap it on the ground like you always do to every other weed whacker or trimmer and uh, retract the spool. But very good. 40 volt system. This is my first 40 volt weed whacker. I'm excited to use it this uh, spring, summer, and fall. And unfortunately right now there's snow everywhere so this is... Uh, I can't really use this outside right now, but but that's good. I like that. It's, it sounds beefy. All right, but let's look at the specs really quick. All right, so the model number for this is HLP HO2, 40 volt system. Oh, I'll put the speed in right now after I did the little research. Now, some things that are extremely interesting when it comes to the heart line. They have a uh, 40 volt chainsaw, uh, hedge trimmer, the weed whacker, which we just unboxed. They have a leaf vac. They have a br uh, brushless leaf blower, which this looks almost just like the new Ryobi Whisperer. They have the 145 mile per hour uh, backpack leaf blower. 
and they have a lawnmower, which honestly, I want that lawnmower. I want to see on how that actually performs. And I also want to get the attachments that you're able to use with this leaf blower. Like I said before, they have the, the edge trimmer, they have the extended uh, chainsaw, leaf blower, and the till. Those are sold separately, of course. Because not everyone has a Home Depot by them or a hardware store, they have, but they have Walmart. So now they're capable of getting decent tools for a good price uh, at their leisure without having to travel far, uh, far. Like, I'll give you an example. I do not have a Lowe's by me. I got to drive about 45 minutes to go to Lowe's instead of uh, a store right down the street. And I'm not driving 45 minutes to go to a hardware store. I I'm good on that. So, like, for people who have Walmart by them, this is actually a perfect line to get into for the DIYer and uh, regular lawn care. So, uh, I love this thing. I can't wait to test this out and see how this actually performs. And, I am sorry. I did test this out, but I'm going to show you guys. Part... 40 volt batteries do not go in a Ryobi. It does not work. It does not work. The, the connections are probably completely different. And this sliding section right here is a bit too wide. It's a bit too wide for it. So yeah, the 40 volt heart batteries do not work with Ryobi. Oh, let's put that on the drill. I'm going to give a message to Hart. You guys got to make a 12-volt system. I highly recommend it. I'd buy the crap out of the, your 12-volt system. 12-volt systems is my favorite thing. Oh, and by the way, you are able to hang this up on the wall. Uh, here's a slot for screw. It's going right there. Looks good. And if I get the lawnmower, it's gonna go right, right there. Which, but yeah, this thing is awesome. This thing is seriously, seriously awesome. Now this is the, how the trigger is. You have to push that to unlock it. It's more, it's a paddle. I like having the paddle on there instead of an on or off switch or, or like a, a regular looking trigger. I like the paddle. So. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to unbox this and demonstrate this to you guys. It, it, it's a weed whacker. You know, you, you can't go wrong with a weed whacker. All I care about is not using gas. I'm, I do not like using cords or gas. And so here we have a powerful gas-like 40-volt leaf blower. Wow, that sounds beefy. All righty. But that's pretty much it. This is, this is the heart trimmer. I'll put the price right now for this. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.